He also has over 700,000 Instagram followers. Wow. Well, they give it to him and he'll slam that down. And when you talk about YouTube and Instagram. Out of the timeout, just one bounce and use that crab dribble to propel himself up. Here we see the verts, the hops. Again, the size advantage, the Hoyas here, size and length. And LeBlanc, six foot seven on that last basket. How about a Kinjo? Feeling it, tickling the twine, and Dave. McClung did get a look at it. Here's three on the way, but no. LeBlanc again up there, beat everybody up, and tipped it in. And LeBlanc with that impressive wingspan. It's 47% of his three-pointers. He's been quiet because they've been doing a lot of this. He passes out of the double. Blair will knock that one down from three. He's only hitting 33%. That's big if he can get going. Rebounding ability. Nice hesitation for a short off the front of the rim. Big rebound by Johnson to spin, and down it goes. And Appalachian State has tied it. Bibby launches. He knocks it in. Michael Bibby. And then kicks it right back out to the three-point line, so Pickett looking to answer. He does all net. Uh, Pickett with the size. Up top for Isaac Johnson. Seacat, nice shot there with the left hand. Yeah, nice back to the basket post move. Old school leapers on this roster for Georgetown. Malinowski gives it up. Target Govan who has scored in double figures in 18 consecutive games. He's spring an upset here. Shot clock to five. Williams sees it and sticks a three, and he has tied the game. On the baseline, a wild looking shot by Malinowski, and now numbers here for the Mountaineers. Williams goes by himself. He lays it in, and Appalachian State has taken the lead. His personnel. Seacat picked up the foul. LeBlanc back for Akinjo. Got it. He'll knock down a three. Great, great look to the backside. Akinjo had the entire side of the floor to go to work one on one. Go back. In and out of guess who down the lane? LeBlanc flying in there for the stuff. They get into league play quite a bit from last year. Malinowski all net from three point land. Malinowski working well without the basketball. Forrest. Gives it away and a slam by Isaac Johnson. And a man down for the Hoyas. With 4.20 to go. That was Trey Morning actually, a little shaking up on the play. Good drive by Forrest. The dish to Johnson and after Duncan holding on the rim with people under him and let's go. Jim Fox, meanwhile, the Appalachian State head coach wondering, is this a case of here we go again? And it's LeBlanc with the slam. He continues to make his presence felt tonight. I think he's at his best though when he's putting it on the floor, thinking aggressive drives first. Go man, six it! A giant three from the corner. They didn't have the costly turnovers. Right. Uh, they still had 15 turnovers, but in crunch time, and they executed and took care of the ball. So that's your final tonight. Georgetown knew they had a battle on their hands. They certainly got one. 83-73, the final tonight. Impressive win down the stretch. A number of contributors. Uh, let's start with Akinjo, his floor game orchestrating the offensive attack for you. He played well. You know, I thought in the first half he did a pretty good job of trying to get everybody else involved. <laughs> he came over to me in the, uh, at halftime and said, look, I, now I'm going to try and, and make my plays. So I told him, just go ahead and play. And I thought he did a good job. He made his shots. He also found the, uh, found the right people at the right time. Yeah, the big fella, Jesse Govan, a quiet night in the first half, zero points, fought through some foul trouble as well. Um, but LeBlanc uh, stepped up, and then down the stretch, Govan was right. critical with some big plays. Right. Josh, does, he did for us what he's been doing all year. His energy, his effort, offensive rebound, running the floor, getting blocks. You know, that's what we need for him to continue to do as his game continues to to uh, to uh, uh, build. Um, Jesse had a, a quiet night, like you said. The foul troubles hurt him, so he was it was back on his heel. But I thought uh, the team, the, the the entire team, the bench, everybody uh, came in and did something to help us win the game tonight.
Uh, no doubt. That leads to my next question. Uh, some great set some alignments coming out of timeouts as well as out of bounds plays that led to baskets uh, how much of that comes from the 16 years of coaching in the NBA as well as your playing career in the NBA well you know I, you know I think all of it uh, you know helps you know my the, the entire time I play I coached in the NBA the entire time I played uh, all of the things uh, have helped and I think that the people that I've worked with and played for you know have all uh, contributed to uh, you know my success